Listen to this. That's the A side of a single released a few years ago. It was not a hit, but the B side was, and it gave Gloria Gaynor a number one smash. It's coming up as an AT40 Extra. The hits from coast to coast. Now we're up to an AT40 Extra. A song that was put on the B side of the record as the producer's insurance against what he thought was a loser on the A side. This is a story that illustrates what it takes to be a super record producer. In this case, producer Freddie Perrin. Four years ago, Freddie was asked by Polydor Records to cut a single for one of their artists, a woman who hadn't had a hit in a long time, and the company had already chosen a song for her. Freddie reminded them of the way he and his partner Dino Fakaris worked. When they produced, they also chose the songs. But the Polydor executives insisted on the song they'd already picked, even though Freddie had looked it over and assured them it wouldn't be a hit. But they insisted. So, Freddie said he'd take the assignment if the money was right, and only if he could put his own song on the B side of the single. The company said, you got it. Then Freddie and Dino got to work. They wrote a new song, produced it along with the company's song for this talented female singer, and then waited. The record was released, with only the A side, of course, being promoted. It bombed. So Freddie Perrin asked a few of Polydor's record promoters to get some radio stations to listen to the flip side. That was his insurance policy side. They did, and the result is engraved forever on the Billboard charts. Let's hear a little bit of the A side, the song that didn't make it. Produced by Freddie Perrin and Dino Fakaris, that song titled Substitute was not a hit. They didn't expect it to be. That's why they put this song on the B-side. Gloria Gaynor's number one smash of 1979. First I was afraid, I was petrified. An American Top 40 Extra. From 1979, the number one song by Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. And the countdown continues. Casey's Coast to Coast.